There was a lot of people impressed with your homeboy singing and rapping ability. Uh, but then shortly right after that interview, I think he caught a case. People are really impressed with his abilities, his, his singing. I don't even know what he does better. Is he a better singer? Is he a better rapper? Um, he good at, little nigga good at both. The nigga is good at both. Like, I, I love cuz, that's my nigga. He good at both. Like, he do his thing and he's focused on it. You know what I'm saying? He's, I can see he, that's a passion cuz and he gonna go somewhere with it cuz he dedicated. And as long as the nigga stay dedicated, you gonna see something out of it. Just the nigga just got, cannot get distracted. No matter, niggas can't let nothing nobody say. Nobody do, you know what I'm saying? Niggas can't let none of that shit affect their passion. Like, because, like, I read Kyle, I read the comments on a lot of videos. Like, I've heard, I've seen niggas in Peck in comments call me snitches, say I shouldn't be from the hood. So I've seen all type of shit. But, you can't prove shit for me. People. It ain't never, you know what I'm saying? I just, like, I've read certain comments and then, like, uh, what was it? It was a video that came out a couple years back. I did a video on Instagram. The shit went viral. And niggas was in the comments. Just talking, like, you know what I'm saying? A little bullshit. He should be a dancer, all of that shit. I am a dancer. But I don't run from shit. I ain't back there from nothing my whole life. Oh, so you're basically saying there's people that saying you need to niggas focus have, on yeah. this. I like that though. And but sometimes like cause sometimes yeah, sometimes I agree with that. Like hell yeah, nigga that shit. Well maybe because the no. last the, the the last couple videos you was on some FK stuff and some people think that well you really can't focus on getting your life on track if you on this yeah. on this bullshit. Because that takes so much of your energy. That should take time. But man. I think people are gonna watch this and say, I think baby T Tiger is, is evolved for sure. I have shit. I've, I've grown. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, my my kids make me think now. Like my kids have gotten older. My oldest son is seven. Like I say, I got four boys. I have four young black men growing up out here in this world. I do not want my kids going through none of the shit that I'm going through. That I have to see growing going through. You know what I'm saying? It's just niggas got to focus on bigger and better things because. It's hectic out here. It's fucked up for black men still. You know what I'm saying? And like my kids not gonna be no statistic. My kids are gonna I don't give a fuck if my kids like weird shit. Just I would want all my kids to be their own individual and just be themselves. I don't want my kids trying to be like me. Unless you niggas just trying to dance, keep that shit out of here. Keep everything else out of your mind. So you're one of those parents that uh, definitely doesn't want their kids in the game band. No. I mean, my parents didn't want me gangbanging. My parents, like I said in that first interview, my parents have been married 41 years. That's like history in black marriages to me. My, my parents are a motivation for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and my mom, my dad didn't want me gangbanging. My dad is an old gangbanger, but he didn't want that shit for me. But I did it because I enjoyed the shit. I liked it. Like, I just, you know what I'm saying, being around and shit, I like to just, and then it was my family. Like, you know what I'm saying, damn near all the five, damn near most of the five nine I'm related to. Or they watched me grow up from child, you know what I'm saying? So, niggas used to come to my house and walk with me to school or walk me to the pool at the park and shit. Like, that's, that's family. That's not, I'm not just from the hood. That's a, that's a whole fucking family to me. What kind of, uh, stress do you think you put on your mom or your family like all the times you got shot especially the, the time you was in the coma because some of these were critical shootings and you know family just goes crazy when their loved ones get hit thanks for watching streettv.net if you're not subscribed please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the link in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.